hello guys welcome back to ladensa crochets if you're new to this channel my name is liz please subscribe and let's get into this tutorial in this one we're making uh, a crop top a simple crop top that is um our sleeves and i'm using two colors because i want to get the color block effect if you do not want the color block effect then you can use just one color for your top the length of the top will depend on whatever you want it could you can you can make it cropped or you can you make it a bit longer than this and therefore you're going to need several measurements you're going to need the bust measurement of your top so in this case my bust measurement is um it has we are measuring without stretching because we don't want a top that is too tight so mine is at 16 when you multiply by 2 that's 32 and you also need the full length of the top this one is at 12 and i want it a bit longer so i'll work a full length of 15. i'll be working with these two colors for the color block effect and i'll be using my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook you'll need a pair of scissors a dining needle and some stitch markers take your bust measurement mine is 32 and divide it by four this will give me eight if yours is 33 by four it will be eight point something you can work with eight it could be 8.2 something closer to that if it is 34 point over 4 this will be also 8 point something you can work for 34 you can work with 8.5 then 35 you can also work with 8.5 because you'll get point something then we have 36 this will be will be 9 then whatever bus measurement you have get it and divide it by 4 sorry not 5 by 4 as for the starting the starting chain you're going to need to chain a chain that is a multiple of two and gives an odd number when divided by two. For example, if you take 20 divided by two, this will give you 10. And this is not what we want because the answer is not an odd number. If you take 30 divided by two, this is 15. And this is right because 15 is an odd number. If you take, say, 62 by two, you'll get 31. And this is okay but if you take 60 divided by 2 this is 30 and this is not okay so whatever chain you're chaining make sure that it's a multiple of 2 and when you divide it by 2 you get an odd answer for a length of 15 inches my starting chain is 66 so i'll begin with a slip knot then chain 66 I have my 66 chains ready and we're going to measure this to see whether I'm at 15 inches in the length and we are measuring without stretching remember we don't stretch the length and right there I'm at about 15 point something which is okay I'll work with that I can do with a bit more length then I'm going to hold the 65th chain so this is the 66 the one before that is the 66 the 65th so I'll hold the 65th and chain two more one and two so that there we have three chains one two and three and that will act as our first double crochet then yarn over put your hook through the chain that you're holding grab a loop and do a double crochet so for a double crochet you yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the remaining two the next we do another double crochet into the next chain Grab a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next, we we'll do another double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain for a double crochet. And each chain will get one double crochet. At the end, you should have 66 double crochets. Or whatever number of 13 chains you had. I'm done with the first row and ready to begin row two. So we're going to chain three and turn. Then in the that chain three is our first double crochet. So we won't work in the first stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and do a double crochet into the next stitch. Next, we're going to chain two. Then we're going to skip two stitches, one and two. And do a double crochet into the third one so skip one two into this one do a double crochet and do a double crochet into the next stitch 
then chain two skip two one and two yarn over do a double crochet into the third one one and two then chain two skip two one and two then a double crochet followed by another double crochet chain two skip two two double crochets into the next two stitches one into each and repeat this pattern to the end of the row At the end, at the end, we have one, two, three, and four stitches remaining. So we're going to chain two, yarn over, go into the second last right there after skipping two stitches. This is one last stitch that is not very visible. Be careful not to miss it, to miss it. So you yarn over and work through it. So put your hook right there and do the last double crochet right there. And there we have our row two done. Now we chain three and turn. That's our first double crochet. The next double crochet will be on top of the second double crochet. Now into the chain two stitch, we're going to place two double crochets right there inside there, just like this, a double crochet and another double crochet. Then next, a double crochet on top of the next double crochet, followed by another double crochet. When you get into the chain two, you place two double crochets right there. Then each of the double crochets will get one double crochet. Two double crochets into the chain two. A double crochet on top of each of the previous double crochets. And we repeat to the end. Now this is a solid draw whereby all the stitches get a double crochet. At the end, do not forget the last double crochet, which is right here. And there we're done with row three. We begin row four by chaining three. The chain three acts as our first double crochet. And row four is a repeat of row two. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Chain two. Skip two. Into the third double crochet followed by another double crochet then chain two skip two double crochet into the next and double crochet into the one that follows chain two skip two double crochet so we're going to work row four using this pattern where you're doing two double crochets with that with chain two stitches in between and skipping two so for row four we are repeating row two for row five we're going to repeat row three and we're going to alternate between row two and row three till we get a quarter of your bust i'll meet you once i have a quarter of my bust and i'll show you what to do next
I have done a total of 16 rows and I'm at a quarter of my bust measurement. I'm going to measure that. And it was eight and as you can see, I'm at the eight inch mark. Now at this point, we're going to cut off the yellow yarn and attach the other, the other color. So chain one, get your pair of scissors, cut off the yarn, pull through, fasten. Now we reattach this other shade. So you're going to start with a slip knot. Then get the beginning part, the, the first stitch right here, slip stitch at that point. Then chain three. That's our first double crochet in the first stitch. So we skip over to the next stitch and do a double crochet. We are in the solid row of double crochets where each row gets a double crochet. I'm working over these tails just to hide them. So into the chain two gap, I'll place two double crochets. The next double crochet goes on top of the next double crochet from the previous row. So this one right here, place a double crochet there. And a double crochet into the next stitch. Then two double crochets into the chain two stitch. Followed by a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet. And then we're going to repeat to the end. Now, because we already know how this pattern works, after the solid row, we're going to have this row that has gaps. And we're going to alternate the rows until I have, uh, again, I'll do another 16 rows, just like I did with the yellow yarn. So this is my first row of the brown yarn. I'll go on and make 16 rows. Then once I'm done with the 16 rows, I'll meet two back here and we shall continue. At this point, I'm done with the 16 rows of the other color that's the band orange and the back panel is ready. That's how the complete back panel looks like. Now we're going to get the yellow yarn. You can start with whatever color you want. I'll get the yellow yarn and begin working the front panel. And our starting chain is the same as whatever we started with. I'd started with 66. So for the front panel, I'll also start with 66 chains. Then I'll do a total of eight rows. And then after the eight rows, we'll do something different. So get your yarn to work the front panel. If you already know how to begin the back panel, this part is quite easy. So chain 66. After the 66 chains, we hold the 65th and chain two more. Then do a double crochet on the 65th chain. And then place a double crochet on every stitch. I'm rushing through this because I've already shown you how to do this. So you can rewind your the video back to where we started if this is a bit fast for you. So I'll work the first row with double crochets to the end. I went on to, to do nine rows. And the nine rows are standard for all the sizes. So regardless of the number of rows that you have done with the other panel, do nine rows. So the a quarter for me was 16 and therefore I'm going to take 16 minus 9 which is um which is 7. So I'll do 7 more rows but then I'm going to do it totally differently. So if your rows were 20 you're going to take 20 minus 9 to get 11. So mine are 16 minus 9 which is 7. So I'll chain 3 and begin row 10 but then I'll not work row 10 up to the end. I'll work row 10 until I have 12 stitches remaining. So after the chain three, I'll move on to the next stitch and do a double crochet, chain two, skip two, do two consecutive double crochets, chain two, skip one and two, then two double crochets into the next two stitches, chain two, one, two, then into the third one, double crochet, and double crochet into the next, and I'll work like this till I have 12 stitches remaining. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I'm going to work up to this point.
now there i have my 12 stitches remaining so that's where row 10 ends we chain three and turn to begin row 11 and so the pattern continues from this point and i'm going to work a total of seven rows from this point so that i get to 16 rows nothing changes the only thing the only thing that has changed is that we are not working this part to the end because we are creating the front part of the top that is the neck part of the front part of the top after the seven rows this is what we have and this part is done so we cut off the yarn and reattach the other one chain one cut off then pull through and fasten then you're going to turn your work like this get the other yarn do a slip knot then reattach at this point with a slip stitch like that then chain three we're going to work a row of double crochets so each of the stitches is going to get a double crochet so we move on to the next stitch place a double crochet then two double crochets in the chain two stitch then a double crochet on the previous double crochets then the chain two stitches get two double crochets a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and a double crochet onto the next double crochet and then we repeat to the end then using this color i'm also going to work a total of seven rows then once i'm done with the seven rows with the with the band orange color i'll come back and show you how to do the extension on the other side so that we have an extension like this one right here I've worked the seven rows and they end at this point at the bottom and therefore I've gone ahead to work the eighth row and I've not finished it yet because I want to attach the yarn right here and do an extension because the extension should be right after the seventh row. Now if you end your seventh row on this side you're going to chain 12 just like whatever we left out here. Now if you end your rows at the bottom you're going to need to work the eighth row and then just before you complete the eighth row you'll do an extension right here of 12 chains and that's at that point i'm going to get the yarn do a slip knot another piece of yarn different from the one that i was working with do not cut off at this point so i'm going to do a slip knot and reattach the yarn at this last stitch then do a slip stitch and then i'll chain 12. then cut off the yarn pull through and fasten and there we have the extension then now i'm going to complete row eight with the extension with the extended part so i've already changed two i'll do a double crochet after skipping two and another double crochet then chain two skip two stitches double crochet into the next stitch which is the next um, chain and double crochet into the other chain then you're going to chain two again you're going to skip one and two then two double crochet follow right there one and two you should have four stitches remaining so you're going to chain two skip two and place a double crochet into the second last stitch and a double crochet into the last stitch and there we have our two sides balanced now i'm going to chain three and turn then start in the next stitch with a double crochet two double crochets into the chain two stitch one double crochet on each of the double crochets from the previous row then two double crochets into the chain two stitch 
one double crochet and another one into the two double crochets like that and we repeat we repeat the rows as we've been doing and right now i'm in row nine and i need to get to row 16. so i'll go ahead and work the other the remaining rows till i get to row 16 and then i'll meet you once i'm done with the 16 rows of the band orange color After the 16 rows, this is the front panel completely done. And now it's time to attach the two panels together so that we can work the sleeves. So what you're going to do, you're going to get the back panel and hold it with the right side facing you. So this is the right side of my back panel. Then I'll hold the front panel this way, such that each color is on the same side with the other color. And then what we're going to do is attach on top. I'll attach using um, single crochets. You can do this using um, the, the dunny needle. So I like to use, sometimes I use the, the needle, sometimes I use single crochets. So what I do is put my hook through that gap, the double crochet gap and through to the other side on the double crochet then do a single crochet then go into the same gap and do another single crochet so that means each of the double crochet rows is going to get two single crochets don't be too tight then into the next row on this side and the other row on the other side place two double two single crochets sorry two single crochets then we have the next double crochet row and the other double crochet row on the other side place two single crochets we move on to the next row and the other one on the other side less two single crochets and we keep joining till we get to this point with two single crochets into every double crochet row make sure that you're connecting the double crochet row on one panel with the double crochet row on the other panel So finally I have the last one and I've just done one single crochet the next single crochet will be at this end and at the end on the other side instead of placing it in the row I'll place it at the very end do a single crochet chain one and cut off then at that point pull through first ten. so this side is joined now we join the other side the yellow side and we we'll need to get the yellow yarn align your work so at this point in the first row on one side and the first row on the other side, that is where I'm going to reattach the yarn. So grab a loop, leaving a, a short tail on one end and we're going to work over it. Chain one into that same gap, place two single crochets. Ensure you work over this tail. Two single crochets, that takes us to the next gap two single crochets into the double crochet rows then two single crochets next and we're going to join till we have joined up to this point Into the last double crochet row, we place one single crochet through to the other side. Then the last single crochet comes right here and at the end on the other side. Single crochet, chain one and cut the yarn. Then pull through and fasten and there our two panels are joined. Next, we're going to need to work the sleeves, and to do that, you turn your work like this, or it like that. We're going to work the sleeves on one side, 
and then do them on the other side so holding your work like this you're going to count to, to measure nine inches on either side so if i measure nine it takes me up to this line right here i hope you can see that nine inches so we are counting i'll count from here this is like one i'll count the gaps it's supposed to end at this point so i'm counting one two three four five six seven eight then that means i'll mark this point aligning with this double crochet so i've counted one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and eight gaps i'll do the same on the other side and mark So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now at the end, right here, aligning with this double crochet, mark right there. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. I've marked the other side of the top, as you can see. And I'm going to start with the yellow side, attaching the sleeve. And we're going to begin from the point of the stitch marker. On this side as you can see this side has a solid side this other side is the, the meshy part and regardless of the side that we start with we're going to do the same thing so um i'll begin at this point start with the slip knot where the stitch marker is i'll put the hook through and pull it out then do a slip stitch right there to reattach the yarn and chain three the chain three of course acts as our first double crochet make sure that the double crochet is aligned to this other double crochet then i'll do a next double crochet then chain two and then we're going to skip two stitches one and two into the third one double crochet and double crochet into the next one chain two skip the next stitch the next two stitches one and two then double crochet and then another double crochet make sure that when you're working the sleeves you're working from the right side as you can see this is my wrong side this is the right side so i'm beginning on the right side then we're going to chain two again one and two just before the corner we have this double crochet on this side and the other one on the other side so we're going to work a double crochet on this one side and a double crochet on the other side like that then you're going to chain two skip two two double crochets in the next two stitches one in each and you're going to work like that till you get to the to the stitch marker So once you get to the stitch marker, that should be your last double crochet. Place it there. And row one of the sleeves is done. Now we chain three and turn. Then begin with a double crochet into the next double crochet. Just like we've been working, two double crochets into the chain two stitch. A double crochet on top of the previous double crochets. Two double crochets into the chain stitch and this is what we're going to repeat until we have a total of eight rows so i'll work it a total of eight rows for the sleeve part then i'll meet you once i'm done and show you what to do next so just do eight rows or whatever length you want you may you might want a shorter sleeve or a longer one so depending on the length of the sleeve that you want do the number of rows that is desirable for you I'll do eight, then come back. After 10 rows, this is what I have. So I'm going to do one final row 
and I'll chain one and turn and that one final row is going to be a row of single crochets into every stitch just one single crochet Then you're going to turn your work to the wrong side use the wrong side and fold it like this once i fold it like that i'll get a stitch marker and mark the part below the armpit right here mark that part and you can also mark the end at this point Then I'm going to go ahead and attach all the way from the end of the sleeve all the way coming down to the bottom of the top. So what I do is you're going to get the yarn. We've not cut at this point. Just to do the single crochets. So after chaining one, I'll pull the, the hook through, then get this end through to the last single crochet that I've just done, put my loop on the hook and pull it through like that, then chain. I'm attaching again with single crochets. So into the first into that first stitch i'll put a double crochet it's a single crochet row so that gets a single crochet then next we move to the double crochet row on this side attach it with the other one on the other side place two single crochets right there the next double crochet row is this one do two single crochets then we do two single crochets into the next row while joining with the other one on the other side so each of the double crochet rows will get two single crochets and we're going to repeat this till we get to the bottom part of the top when you get to the armpit we're going to have visible stitches and we're going to attach one single crochet onto each of the corresponding stitches right here so let me do that Once I get to the corner or to the armpit part, I pull out the stitch marker and put a stitch at the point where the stitch marker was on this side and drew to the other side. Now we've gotten to the stitches. So one stitch on this side and a stitch on the other side, put them together with a single crochet while working over the tail. Now keep attaching till you get to the bottom. I've done the last single crochet into the last stitches, chain one, cut off the end, pull through, first ten, and now this side is done. You can turn this to the right side and see how it looks from the right side. That is what I have. So that is done. We need to do the sleeve on the other side and we're going to reattach the yarn here. Remember I mentioned that regardless of the side where we're working the sleeve, we're going to work the same way. Now on this side, our the stitch, the, the row on the edge was a double crochet row, this one, as the meshy part. But we won't begin with the with the double crochet row we're going to begin with a row that looks exactly like this one just so that our sleeves can be alike so get the yarn 
and make a slip knot. Get the point where you have the stitch marker and reattach the yarn. Remember, we reattach from the right side of the top, just like we did for the other sleeve. Do a slip knot, a slip stitch that is, then chain three. That's our first double crochet. Then we're going to place a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet, double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip, double crochet, and then another double crochet. Chain two, double crochet. So we're just repeating, working double crochets wherever there were double crochets and chains wherever there were chains in the previous row. If you ended with a solid draw on both sides, then this should be easy for you because you, you won't have two similar rows following each other like mine. Chain two, now once you get to this point, we're going to work one double crochet on this side and then the other double crochet is the one on the other side. We are skipping this middle part, so a double crochet on the other end, just like we did with the other side, then you're going to chain two, double crochet, So I'm placing my last double crochet, that is row one of the sleeve done, we chain three and turn to begin row two. Now from this row till we get eight rows, we're going to be alternating. So we start with a double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochets in the chain two stitch, a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and another double crochet into the next double crochet, two double crochets into the chain two stitch and repeat. Now continue working alternate rows till you get eight rows. Once you get your eight rows, you'll be you'll be done with the sleeve. We'll do an edging with single crochets, and then you're going to attach the sleeve. You're going to connect this side the same way we've connected the other side. Once you're done with the other sleeve, you're going to do some bit of an edging on the neck part. And what I do is I get the the band orange yarn and reattach it at this point with a slip stitch and then then chain one after chaining one we'll work over the tail i'll go into that gap the double crochet gap and place two single crochets into the next gap two single crochets while working over there the tail then the next double crochet gap gets two single crochets the next one gets two single crochets so I'm just placing two single crochets into each double crochet row. And as I do that, I'll be working over all the tails that are on the neck part. Once you get to the corner, continue onto the other side, but place a single crochet on the corner stitch right here. Then move on to the other side, continue with the, with the single crochets. Now we are on top of double crochets, so one single crochet and another single crochet into the next one. The chain two gets two single crochets. Each of the double crochets get a single crochet. So single crochet right there and onto the next double crochet. Then two single crochets into the chain stitch. A single crochet on the double crochet. 
I'm at the corner, I place a stitch right here and another stitch at the corner. Move on to this side. We are on the rows, so two single crochets onto each double crochet row. One, two, one, two. Once you get at the end of that color, you're going to chain one and cut off the end and then pull it through. Grab the yellow yarn or whatever other color you're working with. If you're working with a single color, this should be simple. So I put my hook on top of in between the, the last single crochet that I've done with the other color and grab a loop. Then I'll move on to the yellow row, the double crochet row, those two single crochets there. Then the next row, two single crochets. The next row gets two. The next one also gets two single crochets. And keep going till you get to the corner. At the corner place a single crochet and another single crochet into the next gap then we have the stitches each stitch will get one single crochet on the other side after the corner get to the next corner and place a single crochet there then we have the rows, two single crochets on each of the rows. Finally, we have two single crochets into the last row of the yellow. Then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet, single crochet that you did. Chain one and cut off the yarn. Now, once you're done with the edging at the top part right there, you'll be done with the top. That is, after you're done with the, the other sleeve on the other side. So, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you've liked it, kindly leave a like, a comment, share. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next tutorial. Remember to tag me on your recreations on my Instagram page and TikTok. See you.